Hail. It's about time. Hey everybody, it's Dragath of the Into StarCraft group giving you an ISC Cup round of 16 match between Fnatic as the blue Protoss in the 6 o'clock position and Toy Gun as the pink Terran in the 12 o'clock position. Now this is game 2 between these two opponents. Uh, game 1 took place on Blistering Sands in which Fnatic won in a sort of a very quick failed attack from Toy Gun and just moved right on in and took over in about, oh, I don't know, seven minutes. Didn't even have to completely take out his base, but uh, Toy Gun called uh, GG, and that was that. So, like I said, this is game two, and it is on the Lost Temple map. Very popular map for a lot of people in StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. They're in the opposite positions, which favor... Uh, they can actually favor both both of the, um, these races, being uh, the Terran and the Protoss races, for the long range and being able to get some type of macro up. However, if you do get a, um, a very quick run down here, either with uh, fast marauders or maybe uh, four gate stalkers, it can cause a lot of trouble for the other person. Uh, we see Toy Gun is going for a regular. Oh, excuse me. Toy Gun is going a regular block off. It looks like he actually got his supply depot down before the uh, barracks did, as it looks like he's not going to try an all-in rush like he did last time. As you can see, the gas going up as well. And down here we see, again with Fnatic, doing the close pylon in close into his base with the gateway. This might be a sort of uh, a Reaper defense. That way you already have the gateway back here, and you're able to bring in units closer to your supply line. Uh, though in these last patches I haven't seen a lot of re uh, Reaper play at all. And we can see this probe actually got stuck in here, not sure what he was doing, but it didn't look like he was damaging Toy Gun. It looked like he might have been trying to get around to do some damage to this guy right here, but got stuck on this SCV. And Toy Gun is finishing with a second barracks, uh, blocking off, and he's actually keeping up with the income this time. He's got an SCV down in the bait, getting down in this space, getting uh, getting good scan, but it looks like he's stuck on the minerals. No, he's actually gathering the minerals, and if he gets stuck in there, yep, he's not going to be able to get out of there, so that, that SCV is going to be going down, and we do have the Cyber Core going up for Fnatic uh, with no units coming out, so it looks second gas going down, so it looks like we're going to be seeing some, uh, some type of Stalker play uh, very early, uh, maybe into the Robo or to High Templar, and we see, uh, let's see, Orbital Command, for toy gun coming out, still running off the single gas. We got an SCV over here, not really doing anything. But uh, as you can see, Fnatic microwing his guy over there, and we have an engineering bay going up in the back over here. This looks like this is a good position for the engineering bay. It blocks any type of movement around this back area to try and get behind the line and force uh, force toy gun to come in behind there to to defend against that. However, with it being Terran, they do have the longer range um, longer range than Protoss units do, so uh, he could actually stick some other units back here to defend against this mineral line, though if you have Stalkers, set them out here, can't really do much. Anyways, we have a, another Stargate, so this looks like almost the exact same build that Fnatic used last time. He had, yep, the Zealot, the Stalker, looks like he's got this build down uh, pretty packed. Stargate coming up, so we're probably we're going to be seeing if it is the same uh, build door that is doing. We're going to be seeing a void ray come out of there with a second stalker coming out of this gateway right here. Getting a quick scan on the Zelnaga tower, we see the uh, the stalker is actually linked in on that zealot, and that stalker comes out, and we see nothing. That that guy's going down right there. Up over here, engineering bay. We got uh, two missile turrets up. Those turrets went up very quickly. Although I think, oh, I know it was uh, quick defense against the void rays. Uh, with these up here, the void ray can't come in, can't do any additional damage. However, it does delay um, anything that it might have been doing. We got two marauders coming out, and we do have another missile turret right there. And we have a second one coming up. So we got a Stalker and a Zealot coming in pretty close. We've got no units to defend except for this Marine right here. Uh, if this Stalker aims over here, he can take out that Marine. The Zealot's not going to be able to do anything, but he, he should be able to take this out. And these Marauders are going to be able to come out in time. 
uh, to actually defend this. And the Marauders, remember, move first, they don't attack, and this attack is deflected, uh, no units lost. However, one of them might go down, this zealot might be able to squeeze his way out of here, and he does squeeze his way out of there. So over here we have the Void Ray coming in on the other side, he's going to run into this missile turret, and let's see what he does as soon as he hits it. Uh, is he going to keep that in there? This, this Void Ray is going down like a piece of paper in the rainstorm. And no, he is gone. There goes one Void Ray, and we have a second one coming out. We've got multiple gateways coming down with a... Tw uh, oh, I'm sorry, just one gateway coming down with a Twilight Council. So we're either going to be so seeing Blink or Charge going up there, or directly right into the um, High Templar. Uh, three Marauders, even more Marauders coming out. We do have Stim being researched, and the Marauder Zealot coming out. Uh, very fun. We we have oh look at this. Toy gun is actually um, cutting himself off right there. So to move any of these units out, he's going to have to come through here. He kind of made a, a choke point for his resource gathering. That's uh, very odd to me, but he is doing that. He's okay. Void ray coming in. Uh, looks like he's sneaking just outside of the range of uh, these missile turrets. He should try and stay outside of there. Uh, maybe sneak in up here, cause, get a supply depot, and this constant harasses is, is uh, really going to put Toy Gun back, especially if he, he only has uh, the 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Look at that, 5 Marauders. They're not going to be able to do anything against the Void Ray. Uh, looking back over here, Stalkers, we've got another Void Ray coming up. We don't have any other units coming up. Uh, as we can see, the resources are floating pretty high on both sides. We've got 500 on one side, 800 plus on the other side, and these supply depots are going down. So it looks like Toy Gun is actually, um, oh wow, look at that. Yeah, Fnatic, uh, looks like he lost out on his micro, wasn't able to uh, do anything, but he is now inside the missile turret range. He's going to get that Void Ray outside of there. He did get the Void Ray outside of range. Uh, that SCV is going to go down. This missile turret, this unfinished missile turret is going to go down. And we have another one coming up right there, so let's see, the second Void Ray is coming in, and we're still only getting Marauders from Toy Gun. I don't know why he kept pumping out Marauders. The the hard counter for these Void Rays is Marines, and just to get them out of the base, because they are just causing uh, tons of damage right now. Nothing's nothing's touching them. They're going to take out this, commands, uh, uh, this command center.